morning, so I'm making tea right now. And let me guys show you just how much tea I have. And it's just like filled all the way to the back. Tea, 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 loose leaf tea, tea, lots of tea. I always add cinnamon. Sometimes I add ginger to my tea. Whatever tea that I use, I always usually add cinnamon to it because I just like the added benefits that cinnamon gives. And I use... um Ceylon cinnamon, so it's the cinnamon you can actually eat every day. This is the Ceylon cinnamon I was talking about. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. C-E-Y-L-O-N. The cinnamon that you might buy at a grocery store, regular cinnamon, you can't really eat a lot of because it becomes toxic. Do your research. I didn't know that until I knew so it. We just left church. It was really good, real, really good. Um and now we're about to eat with my parents. About to go eat, eat some food, ooh, eat some food, eat some food. We are about to go eat, eat. This old man is staring at me. You like that? Yeah, it was hot. And he breaking into his car. He's a wild man. <laughs> See, you <laughs> know. You over here staring at us. Should be staring at you. I was just telling him that like pregnant women should have a light they could put on their car so when they go into labor, people can see the light and move out the way so they can get to the hospital. Like a purple light. Like the little security lights you plug in, you just stick on top of your car. I think pregnant women need that. And like you can get it from your OGBYN. And, like, they give it to you a week before you go into labor or something like that. And then, like, when you get to the hospital, then they take it. It's like, hot. yeah. And then, like, say you get, like, free ballet or something. You pull up with the purple light. You can just get out and they park your car and they take the light. Because you, you can't just be having it. If this becomes a thing, y'all just know who had this idea first. Mm -hmm. Just know. Wow, there's the thrift store. That's our favorite place over there. Can I zoom in on that? Can I? Can I? Can I? Nope. Mm -mm. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's not focusing on it, but that's the thrift store. I tried. I tried to show them the thrift store. It's always closed on Sunday. I didn't know. You mama told me they closed on Sunday. When I tell you that? Last Sunday, when they was closed. <laughs> That might have been God talking to you Sunday. I don't think it was me. Soup though. You about to get some soup? Some soup. <laughs> I don't think you can record in here, babe. Turn it off. You turn it off. Oh, okay. Cause I'm I'm sweet. I'm just gonna keep it going. Oh, <laughs> It'll be four of us. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all. Soup. Hey guys, um, today is Monday and I'm on my way to my mom's house actually. She called me and asked could I come over and watch my niece while she goes to the grocery store. She's babysitting right now I guess. It's so cold outside. Oh my god. My parents only live like five minutes away from me. I never thought I would say that. I used to always be like I can't wait to move out. I can't wait to get out. I moved five minutes away so <laughs> yeah but it's great when like my mom's cooking food or something and I just pop up there like oh hey oh you just made spaghetti I didn't even know she's making chicken salad that's why she needs to go to the grocery store so for show sure, I'm there <laughs>
Oh my god, I'm dying. Can you hand me some pepper towels? Help. I'm blind. And the recipe called for just regular chili beans or kidney beans and black beans, but I figure I'm making chili and then this isn't chili sauce, so like, why not? Then I got some tomato paste and two cans of diced tomatoes, a little drink. Then we have some onion, we have some diced jalapeno and garlic, chili powder. I have this ground beef. I don't eat meat anymore. We just eat seafood. So I found this groundless or beefless ground and it's actually really, really good. You like it, don't you, babe? Yeah. Yeah. And then we got some corn, chili powder, salt, pepper, and then also some coconut sugar. I usually put brown sugar in my chili, but... Um, the recipe that I found that I'm doing this one off of calls for coconut sugar and I already had it. And then we got some lentils. They've already been rinsed and drained. And I got my big pot. So I've never made this recipe before. I just found it on Pinterest actually. And I'm kind of adding things that I usually add to my own chili and also going off this recipe, so like kind of mixing it both together, so we'll see. of it i did have to add more water to it and then i added some onion powder garlic powder cayenne the coconut sugar splash of apple cider vinegar and just a bunch of different seasonings just to your taste some more salt pepper things like that so yeah it's pretty good it's a good night